If you're obsessed with luxury, you've made it to the right place. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Louis Vuitton's top 10 handbags. You cannot go wrong with adding any of these handbags to your collection, especially if you're looking to create that capsule wardrobe when it comes to your collection. Let's go ahead and dive in. Speaking of capsule wardrobe, I did want to give a little ideal update because I did get a few new pieces in from them. And as you guys know, I am obsessed. So I've been wearing ideal jewelry for years at this point. I've talked about them for quite a while. I am an ideal partner. So I'll put my coupon code down below so you can save 10% on anything on their website. But I really have changed my thought process when it comes to building my wardrobe in regards to everything. So whether it's my handbags, my shoes, my clothing, and also my jewelry, I really have thought in terms of that capsule wardrobe creating classic like essentials in my wardrobe that I can have not only now, but also for many, many years, thinking more in terms of quality over quantity. Now, with that said, my ideal collection is definitely growing. So I have a lot of pieces to share with you and that I can recommend to you. But I really feel like it's such a great starting point to create that capsule wardrobe when it comes to your jewelry. So I originally fell in love with their earrings. I'm an earrings girl. I just love earrings. There's just something about earrings for me. So I have a really Really large collection when it comes to their earrings. I also have two of their necklaces. They also have bracelets as well. I don't have any bracelets yet, but I do think that is next on my wish list. But I really just can totally recommend these pieces. I sleep in them, I work out in them, I shower in them. They're solid gold and then they're lab grown diamonds. And I feel like when it comes to pieces like this on a daily basis that you're wearing, I feel like going the sustainable route is such a economical way to go. You've got these beautiful quality pieces that are not only classic and timeless, but they're modular so you can build your wardrobe on them. So it's not like you're replacing another pair of earrings with another earrings. You're just creating this kind of a capsule wardrobe to be able to wear your pieces in multiple ways. So my newest pieces are, I ended up grabbing these hoop earrings, which are so beautiful. You guys know how obsessed I am with my hoops. These are such a beautiful everyday like wearable piece that are actually really comfortable because they're a little bit more oval and oblong. They're really, really comfortable to wear, even just like sleeping on them or uh, you know working out in them. They're really, really comfortable and super lightweight. And then I also added this beautiful teardrop piece here that is so so beautiful on this side i do have a little something different but this is a piece that i've had for quite a while like i said i've been collecting their jewelry now for i believe going on maybe three-ish years we're getting we're getting to about that three-year mark so my collection is definitely growing like i said solid gold lab grown diamonds really really beautiful quality pieces the brand in general is amazing the quality of their pieces is amazing and everything arrives really beautifully packaged so whether you're buying for yourself or you're shopping for a gift i really just in general recommend ideal i'll pop on some other pictures of the rest of my collection collection as well as a few other pieces on their website but go check them out everything is going to be down below in the info box like always like I said I've been wearing them for years it's a brand that I truly trust and can stand behind I feel like when it comes to these long-term partnerships that I have I really take those to heart and this is a brand that whether I was creating content or not I would be purchasing from them because I truly truly love their jewelry like I said the quality is there and not only the quality is there but the classicness the timelessness of their pieces is, they really, really pay attention to jewelry that we want to wear on a daily basis, but also long-term. And I feel like they just do such an amazing job with adding more pieces to their collection on a regular basis that just kind of add that timeless factor to our jewelry wardrobe. So again, check out the links down below. Let's go ahead and dive into Louis Vuitton's top 10 handbags. We've got to start with the OG, the original, the very first Louis Vuitton handbag, and that is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. So this was originally released in 1930 as Louis Vuitton's first ever handbag. I've got three different sizes here. I've got the 20, I've got the 25, and I've got the 30. And yes, I have them in their canvas, which was what they originally launched this bag in, but you can buy the Speedy in multiple fabrics now. This is one of Louis Vuitton's still most classic handbags. You can definitely not go wrong with this. And obviously I had to include this one first because it is the OG, it is the original. 
If you are looking to add something simple, something timeless, something that you could do bandolier, crossbody, shoulder, or maybe something just a little bit fun, you cannot go wrong with the Speedy. I truly love the Speedy, and even though I really don't reach for these two very often, I definitely wanna keep these in my collection because they are so classic and timeless. Now, I will say I really, really love the fact that they've brought out some of these smaller sizes, like the Speedy 20. I also have a Speedy Nano, as well, which let me go grab that just to show you. Here is the Speedy Nano right next to the Speedy 20. So you can see the size difference here as well. But I really feel like adding a Speedy to your collection is always a good idea. Next up is one of my personal favorites when it comes to Louis Vuitton's most classic bags. And that is the Capucines. I have it here in the PM size in the color Galet. This is so uber classic, very, very timeless and super, super chic. If you're looking for something just a little bit dressier, I highly recommend the Capucines bag. I also recommend grabbing this one on the pre-loved market. Just going to be honest, I feel like you can save quite a bit of money when it comes to this particular one. It's a full leather bag. It's pretty, pretty pricey. It also comes with the strap and it is adjustable in this particular size. This one also comes in several sizes. Just like the Speedy, you've got a lot of options here. You have a BB, you have a PM, you have an MM. I believe that's it. They might have a Nano that I've seen before. I feel like they have, but either way, this is such a beautiful classic bag. This one came out in 2013 and quickly skyrocketed to one of Louis Vuitton's most classic. So I highly recommend this one. The Louis Vuitton Pochon Matisse. This is one of my personal most used luxury handbags out of my entire collection. I actually probably wore this on a regular basis for three years straight. I truly, truly love this bag and still to this day recommend it. This one was released in 2012 and is still in production today and is still one of Louis Vuitton's most sought after bags. I feel like these canvas bags, yes, this one is released in multiple leathers now, but these canvas bags, get harder and harder to get a hold of uh, every single year. This one is no exception. I really, really love this bag. It's a good everyday bag. It is definitely on the smaller side, but because you have the interior compartments, it makes organizing it really easy, really comfortable, and just a great bag for everyday use. You also have a really practical size back pocket here. You've got the adjustable longer strap, making it super easy to carry this one crossbody or really long on the shoulder. I love this bag and still to this day highly recommend it. The Louis Vuitton Petite Mall is definitely one of my least used handbags. With that said, I am so glad that I have it in my collection because I feel like if you are a handbag collector, the Petite Mall is definitely one of Louis Vuitton's finest pieces. This was released in 2014 as a nod to their original trunks. It is literally made exactly the way a Louis Vuitton trunk piece would be made, just in a mini version. I really love this bag for date nights or special occasions. It does come with a longer strap. You of course can use different straps with it, but I especially love it in clutch form. It's tiny. So when I say that it fits just the essentials, I literally mean it fits just the essentials. But if you've had a chance to really look at the craftsmanship of this piece, you completely can see the quality here. So is this a bag that I use very often? No, but if you're a true Louis Vuitton collector or a luxury collector, this is a piece that is a great addition to any luxury collection. For this next handbag, I'm gonna cheat just a little bit only because it's not a specific bag. It's more about a specific style and that is a Louis Vuitton belt bag or bum bag, whatever you wanna call it. I actually have two of them. This one is no longer in production, but they definitely have several options. But this one is, this is their mini bum bag. I feel like adding a bum bag to your collection is such a smart idea, not only right now, because it is definitely on trend, but it's really moved into that classic category of a handbag style. Just like everybody wants a tote and a crossbody and maybe a handheld, adding a belt bag, adding a bum bag to your collection is so smart. Not only this, because it's so on trend and so cute to wear right now, but it actually is a really, really practical bag to have in your collection. 
So this is the original Louis Vuitton bum bag that I fell in love with. I still love it to this day, and if you can get your hands on it on the pre-loved market, I highly recommend this one. It is such a great size, super, super practical, easy to get in and out of, and I wore this nonstop every day for almost a year. I feel like last year this was my it bag. I wore it so, so much. I loved it so, so much that I decided to go ahead and grab a little mini version. I recently added this one to my collection, and I love it so, so much. It's definitely on the much smaller smaller size, but I feel like I either grab for one or the other when I'm wanting this style of bag. And I feel like just in general, adding a bum bag to your collection is so smart. And I feel like Louis Vuitton always has really amazing options. The Louis Vuitton Alma is, in my opinion, one of Louis Vuitton's most beautiful handbags. This is another one of their OG classics. This was released in 1934. So again, doesn't get any more classic than a Louis Vuitton Alma. I feel like these bags are not talked about enough in the luxury space, specifically with Louis Vuitton, because I just love them. If you love a good top handle bag, yes, you can get a strap on some of them, but if you love a good top handle bag, I just love the silhouette of this bag so, so much. It does come in a BB size. So this is actually a PM. This is an MM. They actually don't do the MM size anymore. So I will never get rid of my MM. I just love it so, so much. And then I ended up buying this Epi PM on the pre-loved market several years ago. And it just made me fall back in love with the Alma silhouette again. I feel like this bag definitely gives off a little bit more polished, a little bit more chic. So if you're looking for something like that, I would grab this bag. It is so, so classic. The BB is super cute, definitely on the smaller side. I did actually own the BB several years ago. I do wanna get another BB again. I just wanna get it in a different leather than I had it. I had it in the, is it the Vernie? I had it in the Vernie leather. As you can see, the opening is really nice and big, even for just the PM size. I do add a strap to this one. I bought it pre-loved so it didn't come with a strap, but you do have these little hooks right here that you can add a strap. So there's a lot of versatility when it comes to this one. Again, I love the MM size. I do have it. You can still find it every once in a while on the pre-loved market, but honestly, you cannot go wrong with either size. I just feel like the silhouette is so classic, so chic. There's something really simple, kind of like that quiet luxury that we call it, kind of vibe about it, especially if you get it in a leather. Can we have a top Louis Vuitton handbags without mentioning the Louis Vuitton Neverfull? This was released in 2007 and became extremely popular because of not only the price, but also the practicality of this bag. So it does come in multiple sizes. I've got the MM, I've got a GM here to share with you. And I honestly recommend both of these sizes. They both make for good everyday bags, for work bags, school bags, travel bags. They're really, really easy and practical to use. If you're looking for something every day, kind of a catch-all for all of your essentials on a daily basis, maybe work essentials, maybe baby essentials, and you want something that's easy to get in and out of, the Neverfull is always a good idea. I always get asked, which size do I recommend? Honestly, they're very different in my opinion. I also feel like they give a very different look. I feel like the MM is like traditional tote, whereas the GM is kind of saggy and oversized, that kind of like cozy sweater, if you will, makes for a good travel bag. When I'm traveling, I actually reach for the GM more, but on a daily basis, I reach for the MM more. So there you have it. Grab a Neverfull, trust me, you will love it. The Louis Vuitton Neo No Way is my current Louis Vuitton obsession. This is actually my current bag of the day. I've been wearing it every single day nonstop. I seriously love this bag so, so much and highly recommend it. This is actually a re-release from a 1934 Louis Vuitton release of the original No Way handbag. So again, this is one of those classic pieces. I love the practicality of this bag. I feel like it is, if you want a Neverfull, but not a Neverfull, but something just as easy and practical, go with this one. There's something very kind of vintage old school about the bucket bag, but also the practicality of the bucket bag. So I actually leave mine kind of loose like this. I don't really ever close the opening, so it's just open. You can see I've got all my things in there right now. I did have my headphones in here, but as you can see, all of my SLGs are in there. I truly, truly love this bag. It's really, really comfortable to wear on the shoulder and get your things in and out of. I actually almost wish that I had gotten this in 
a leather so that it could just be my everyday bag. Not that I don't love monogram because I do love monogram. I think it's great, but every once in a while, I just want like a solid leather. But I really have been wearing this every single day nonstop, probably for the last two-ish months. I really have just fallen in love with it. It was one of those bags that honestly sat on my shelf for the longest time. I've had this bag for three years, maybe a little bit longer, and I reached for it sparsely like very very rarely did I reach for it and I was like you know what I don't want to switch out my bag every day like I kind of wanted to switch to the simplicity of just kind of having a bag that was more of like an everyday bag and if I needed a bag for a specific occasion or outfit then I would switch out this one became my new everyday bag and y'all I am obsessed in my opinion this is one of Louis Vuitton's if not my current favorite Louis Vuitton like practical bag, everyday bag, easy bag, comfortable bag. Like I just can't say enough good things about it. I highly, highly recommend it. I struggled on whether I wanted to add the Louis Vuitton Cousine bag to this particular video. This one was just released in 2021, but it became very popular very quickly. And here is my thought process on why I feel like this is a good bag to have in your collection. I feel like it is the new modern classic. It's that pouch bag meets a classic flat bag. It really is that modern rendition of a classic handbag done in such a beautiful, very versatile way. I love the fact that this one comes with two different straps. You get the chain strap, which I love to use on other handbags. You also get the cloth kind of guitar strap that again, you can use on other handbags. That's another reason why I actually think that this bag is a good investment because not only do you get like a three in one kind of look for this particular bag, but you also get straps that you can use on all of your other Louis Vuitton bags as well. So I just feel like this is a really, really good buy. I also happen to love the silhouette of this bag. It's such a great everyday size. Just like I talked about the organization of the Pochette Matisse, this one also has organization as well. You have three different pockets when you open her up. You've got this really, really luxurious interior lining as well. And the leather on this one is so, so beautiful and soft. Who doesn't love this emprunt leather? It really is such a beautiful piece. So that is why I had to include it in this video. And the final Louis Vuitton handbag that I want to talk about today is actually on my wish list and has been for quite a while. And it is the Louis Vuitton twist bag. I have wanted this bag for so, so long, but cannot decide what color I should get. Let me know down in the comments, what color should I add to my collection? As you can see, I definitely gravitate towards neutrals, but should I get this one in a pop of color and what size should I get as well? This to me is Louis Vuitton version of a classic flat bag, but done in a more modern way. I feel like the twist is such a fun rendition, like version of a flat bag. I just think that the one, the texture of the leather, it's a little bit more structured. And I also love the way that the logo kind of twists to create that kind of cheeky name for the bag. I love this bag. I think it's beautiful. I love the versatility that you can double up the strap or you can wear it cross body as well. I feel like this is another one of those bags that you cannot go wrong with. So there you have it, my top 10 Louis Vuitton handbags. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do a lot of fashion and luxury videos here, but I also sprinkle in a few other things. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure to check out all the links down below. I'm gonna link everything that I shared in today's video, all of the handbags, as well as all of my ideal pieces, as well as the coupon code that I have to save 10% on their entire website. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.